jump in and out of character. One minute they're doctors, one minute they're playing firemen, one minute they're monsters. See the kid over there playing Frankenstein. She's playing a nurse. That's what we're supposed to do. Because the best actors are those that are like little kids playing in the field that have forgotten all the rules. Now these days I don't recommend going to the park and watch kids because you get in trouble. <laughs> you know, and you know, I, these days I, I sometimes I bring my dog. I have a dog named Ruby. And she comes to class with me. So the thing is I use her as an example. You know, she freely does like roams. She, she sits in class, she rolls over occasionally. And I use my dog as an example. She does what she wants freely without any kind of inhibition, holding anything back. We, as actors, have to be the same way. You know, it, it's like, here we are, we're born. This is what my teacher explained to me. You know, we're, we're born a clean slate. We can become anything, even when we're young. When you're young, you can become anything you want. You could be the fireman, you could be the doctor, you could become anything on a drop of a dime and not think twice. That's our job as actors, not thinking twice, just becoming that character on a drop of a dime and not thinking twice. The thing is, as we, I'm, I'm sorry, as we get older. What is something that you not know about you? What is what? What is something that you're um, I keep, I separate my private life. I separate things, I keep things private. Um, I don't, I, I, I have a private life. I choose to keep things private. You know, we all have pasts. You know, um, you know, I have a past. You know, I, which I just keep private. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you know, I, I grew up on in rough side of town, and 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 um, you know, you should talk like this. Forget about it. I'm going nothing on buy and I'm go for you. And you know, and and I, <laughs> but the, you know, the thing is, we all have past lives and we set those things behind, and we move on. Some people never grow. Uh, what? What is the most important lesson that you've learned from your career? You know, what is the most important lesson that I've learned? You know, actually the best lesson that I learned was something someone else said. Yeah, probably the best lesson that I've learned is actually something that um, someone else said. Um, I always knew it, but I think I, I was watching it, an episode of uh, Inside the Actors Studio like, a couple years ago, and I, I, I kind of remembered it to heart. And it's something Kevin Spacey said to, to, to like a hundred actors at the actor studios. You know, he goes that there is no ultimate prize out there, and he's pointing out to Hollywood or Broadway, that the only prize is this one that's in our heart, and what you feel you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to, to merely want to act, and to be ambitious, and to be successful, is, is just not enough. You know, that's only desire. To know what you want, and to understand why you're doing it, and to dedicate every breath in your body and, and achieving this goal, and to know exactly what you, where you're going at any given moment and have a, a clear, focused plan and have passion. That is what you need to achieve. The thing is, I tell them, and I'm repeating what the gentleman said on the television, you're gonna grow up with your fellow actors in the classroom. And you're gonna watch them have success. And you're gonna watch them have failure. And you're gonna watch how each one of them deal with it on a daily basis. And how watching them, how they deal with it on a daily basis is gonna be the best teacher than I can ever be. 
and I, I think that watching that, um, when I use a speech like that or something in, in a form like that, you know, I used some kind of form of it yesterday on, on, on an actor, you know, and it was a wake up call. And when I heard this, it, when I heard that for the first time, I mean, my heart just dropped and I remember it, you know, and, and I, and, and, and I, and, and Can we hear from your, what is your about this and that they're having can I what can we hear from one of your students today about yeah uh, yeah I mean uh, I'll step away and, and I'll have Jane Haggerty and, and Princess ha Harris first Jane Haggerty and then Princess Harris hi Judith um, I just wanted to say that John is very humble and, and one thing that a lot of us really don't know about him, or obviously I know because I'm his artistic director and his student, but he was saying how your prize is inside, and he doesn't do this for the money. In fact, he probably goes broke because he buys half the class dinner because he knows most of us are starving actors. I mean, he's helped people get jobs in the industry as well as just survival jobs. He had me like hanging coats all winter one year. I met John doing monologue competitions, and he said, you have to come to my class. You have, a, you have a new piece every week. You have to come to my class. And I've been with him ever since. And he's known about town as the actor whisperer, because he, what he does is he does take us aside and tell us a secret, a secret to use in our piece, something to awaken inside our soul, something deeper than just on the surface. He tries to make us live our life that way. That is another reason I came on board with him, was because he invited me to do an outreach program with these troubled youth in the middle of Pennsylvania. And these kids, I could see their, they were just so enamored with him, and I could see that he had touched them, and that touched me. And we've ever since have been doing outreach programs with homeless children, as well as troubled teens in the city. Um, you know, he and I both joke that a lot of people come to class wanting to be microwaved movie stars. And the truth is, you really have to find that, that true drive within yourself to do the work, and the work comes first. And he makes people strive to be their best, and in turn, they become successful. I'm in two plays right now. I just wrapped a TV pilot. I have Miss Harris on my left, who is in a TV show as well as um, a film, which one of John's students wrote. So more than 90% of his students are working and working successfully. His goal is to have us develop a passion for the craft, and just in turn, we just have become successful actors, but without losing sight of paying it forward to our fellow man as well as our fellow actor. So I'm just so happy to be here today. Thank you for letting us speak, and I'm going to pass the phone over to um, Ms. Princess Harris, <laughs> who is starring in a pilot called New York, New York, and the film Touched, written by Alex Molina, fellow student. Hello, my name is Princess Harris, and I am really, really excited to be here and to be here under John's direction, because what I've learned from him just watching and observing and participating in some instances is that he helps you get in the moment. Um, he teaches you that it's not about the lines. And, and in acting, it's about living truthfully in that moment. And he helps you get there by, if you're, if you're, if you're in your head, he'll stop you. And he'll give you a scenario, or he'll give you an objective where you can actually live truth, truthfully and become that character. And I think that's so, so very important because as actors, sometimes we, we think about the lines and we're, we're forgetting that it's deeper than just what's in front of us, what that character is going through try to get in touch with that. And once you touch base and do your character breakdown, and then you can actually become that character, and it'll just, like I said, it'll come naturally, and acting without thinking, you know, act, acting is acting and reacting with, with your partner. I love Meisner, so, you know, acting off what's present and what's in front of you, and John really, really touches base with that, and his direction is just so powerful the way he does it. He has his own method, and it's amazing. You know, if, you, if a person just really listens and understands what he's saying, you can get there without trying to get there. So I love his class, and it's amazing. Um, I am in a film that's going to be performing called Touched, and I'm not that old, but I'm playing an old lady. <laughs> I'll be playing a grandmother, 
19 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and that's the greatest thing about acting is that you can be anything you want to be. You don't have to set yourself in some stereotype. Um, okay, I'm 20 or I'm 25. I got to play this character. If you can act, you can be 50, 60 with a little makeup. Um, it, it'll definitely help. So Touches is an awesome. I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that production. And we have a wonderful, outstanding cast. And as John said, we have some A-listers that are they're, they're negotiating at this time. And I'm really looking forward to just filming and working with everyone on that production. Um, and in addition, I'm doing the sitcom New, New York, New York. And it's by Horsefly Production, um, John and Eva Bodine. And they started in 2010. And it'll be filming in July 31st and August 1st and 2nd uh, at an Italian restaurant. And my character is Rhonda, and she's this talent manager who's aggressive. She don't take anything from anyone. She's one of those persons that she's focused, she's determined, and she's going to do whatever she needs to do to get to where she wants to be. But the only thing is stopping her is that she has to work at this restaurant, and, and she hasn't gotten her big break yet. So it's, it's very exciting to be a part of both of these productions and then part of, of the class. I'm really excited to be a part of New York, New York, and I'm excited to be a part of Touched. Oh, and you, for New York, New York, if they visit the Facebook um, fan page, Welcome to New York, you can find out more information there, and, um, or Horsefly Films, you can find out information there. And also, Touch has a Facebook page that you can go and like the link, and updates will be there on a, on a regular basis in regards to when we'll be filming and shooting. Yeah, if you um, go into just John, www.johnpalata.com, that's J-O-H-N, P is in Peter, A-L-L-O-T-T-A.com, and um, your screen will pop up, and there I am. And, um, you know, we'll just, just, you know, search under New York City Acting Schools, Acting Teachers, you'll find me. Um, come and order the class. But um, you, yeah, the Producers Club in New York City, and um, yeah, just come check us out. And, and you know, I may not be right for everyone. There's, um, I, I, I am a, what's the word? Um, you know, I we are very selective. Um, we were we're not a huge school or a small group. Um, you know, I kind of want we kind of want folks that are in here for the right. Um, reason, you know, Jane had mentioned something which, you know, um, that I have no tolerance for what's called microwave wannabe movie stars. You know, a lot of folks come here for the wrong reasons. You know, they they they, they look for 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 um, stardom. You know, and that's the wrong reason to want to enter a classroom. You know, when I got into this business 30 years ago. You know, I didn't come in here. I was chopped down. There's, there, there's no start. Starting was in your, within yourself. Um, you know, knowing that stardom is knowing that whether it be a 40 seat theater like the one we're in right now, or a 38,000 seat theater that I could command that stage, that's stardom to me. 